Hi guys and welcome to this week's edition to Technician Talk. My name is Carrie, this is Gerbs, and today we're going to be talking to you about cranes and hand signals for cranes. Um, here at One Energy we use cranes for a lot of different things. I'm sure the most well known is actually building our towers, as you can see behind us. Um, but we also use cranes a lot for loading trucks, for offloading trucks, and actually we use them to build and dismantle other cranes. So, and so we use them quite a bit in our daily jobs. That being said, we um, handle a lot of heavy loads with those. So safety and very good communication is very, very important. Most of the time we like to use radio communication. Um, that is the easiest for us, but sometimes a radio will break or there's a bad signal or it's just too loud outside to use that. So in those cases, we use hand signals. And the signals that we use are universal, which is very nice. So there's really no confusion. Everybody knows what they mean. So we're gonna call out a few hand signals. Gerbs is gonna demonstrate them for you. And then we'll kind of try to explain what the crane is gonna be doing with these signals. So the first one we're gonna go over is cable up. And when the operator sees Gerbs do that, they know that they just need to simply cable up with their crane. Uh, same thing as cable down. And they see that they're going to cable down. Then we have a boom up. When they see that, they're going to lift their whole boom up or raise it. And then there is boom down to lower your boom. Uh, then we also have a boom up hold load. And when the operator sees that, they know they need to boom up, but at the same time cable down to keep that load at the same height. We also have boom down and hold load, which is the same idea except they will boom down and cable up to keep that same height. If she wants them to do anything very, very slowly or very easily, this is the movement she is gonna make and then whatever she needs after that and that operator knows I need to go very, very slow and take it easy and be safe. There are also signals for swing right and swing left. Now when Gerbs does this, she also, it's very important, she has to keep in mind that her right and left is opposite of the crane operators. So that can be kind of an easy mix up. So she has to be very cognizant of that fact. Now, if Gerbs needs the whole crane to actually move, she can tell them to track forward or track backwards. If she wants them to stop what they're doing, it's a very, very easy all stop. Now, if there's something going on that she needs to make sure the operator knows, flip the safety lever, put on your parking brake, hands off the levers, like we're not doing anything right now, she will tell them to dog off, which that is a very, like I said, it's very important with safety. So the, the operator knows that they just need to sit still for a little bit. Um, and I believe that is it for our basic hand signals. Um, I hope you guys, I hope it was informative and slightly entertaining for you. And thanks for watching.